Hi, Green Lake Dragons. Anna here, your vocal music teacher with another music lesson. First, an important question. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I miss you a lot. Let's go ahead and get ready for our warm ups. Of course, we want to find a place to be comfortable in our body. We want to make sure to have water available. Oops, I left mine at the table. Hold on just a second. You can still hear my voice. You have some water? Cheers. Ah, so important to stay hydrated for your health, but also for your singing voice. I'm gonna put that on the floor. So with singing, we know now that in order to take our singing breaths, it's best for our bodies to be nice and tall, either sitting or standing. So make yourself comfortable and inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Good. Let's continue to take some breaths together, but now we will remember, try to remember how to breathe a little differently to create more space when we inhale. And then we want everything to get smaller when we exhale because we can make our body do both things. When we inhale, we can make our stomach get smaller. And then when we exhale, we can make it get bigger. But remember for singing, to get the most breath possible, we want our tummy, our, the top of our tummy and our chest to expand. So here we go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Let's do two more breaths, but let's switch to inhaling and exhaling through just the nose. So mouth stays closed. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. To me, it's just amazing how much calmer I feel after taking just a couple of really mindful breaths. Okay, now our favorite warm up. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms, but with teacher names. So let's hear from some Green Lake Dragons. We're going to start with Macy M from Miss Davis's class. Miss Bowen made me bounce on my butterscotch. I love it. Miss Bowen made me bounce on my butterscotch. We're gonna start here, lower, and then we'll get higher. Posture check. Let's make sure that we're sitting or standing nice and tall. This may be the first time that you've sang today. So the purpose of the warm up is to uh, build up slowly. So we want to start with kind of a softer singing voice, a little more on the quiet or piano side. And last thing, don't forget your big singing breaths. One, two, ready, go. Miss Bowen made me bounce on my butterscotch. Breath.
start here, that same note, and go higher and higher with another set of words from Joy C in Miss Moore's class. Miss Moore made me mix my marshmallows. <laughs> That's kind of a fun tongue twister. Here we go. Posture, breath, two, three. Miss Moore made me mix my marshmallows. Breathe. Miss Moore made me mix my marshmallows. Big breath. Miss Moore made me mix my marshmallows. And one more. Miss Moore made me mix my marshmallows. I cry. Hooray. Okay, we have two more sets of lyrics. Next, from Calvin in Miss Nini's class, Mr. D made me demolish my dum-dums. <laughs> I like that one. Now we're going to start higher and go down, lower and lower, one step at a time. Posture, breath, two, three, Mr. D made me demolish my dum dums. 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 Last one, here it comes. Mr. D made me demolish my One more student written warm up. Oh, and this one's interesting um, because with the letter S, using the letter S, I got several from students using various teachers' names Miss Stewart, that's me, Miss Schneider, Mr. Salcedo, anyone's name that starts with S, made me smash my skittles. So with this one, you can sing my name. You can sing Miss Stewart. You can sing Miss Schneider. You can sing Mr. Salcedo, whomever you like to sing. That's your choice. But whoever that person is you choose, they made us smash our skittles. So from Evelyn in Miss Smith's class. Oh, and Miss Smith. Miss Smith starts with S too. So you could sing Miss Smith. And Annie and Miss Nimi's class. They came up with that one. I don't think they even came up with that together. So that's pretty neat. Okay, last one. I'll just sing um, Mr. Salcedo for this one. Here we go. Two, three, four. Mr. Salcedo made me smash my skittles. Now I'll sing Miss Schneider. Miss Schneider made me smash my skittles. Now Miss Stewart. little notebook out of the way and let's talk about wishes again. This is my wish. That's the song I introduced last week and I'd like to explore it again this week just so we can learn it a little bit better. I'll include the lyrics again in case you're still not sure of the words. You can go back and practice the song if you really do want to learn those lyrics or memorize the lyrics. Memorizing means um, to remember without looking or reading. Last week I asked you what your wish is for the world. And I got some really thoughtful, lovely responses. And I'd like to ask you again this week about some of your wishes. What do you wish for Green Lake, for our Green Lake community. What's your wish? 
what is your wish for your family? And of course, you don't have to send me answers to those questions if you don't want to. But that might be something nice to think about while you're singing the song. This is my wish. So let's just hear the whole song again. This is my wish. My wish for the world that peace will find its way to every boy and girl. This is the time, the time for harmony. I'll be the song that everybody sings. Fill the writer of that song, Kevin Russ. You remember those words? What is Kevin Russ's wish? What is the wish in this song? Really feel that in your heart. Remember how at Green Lake we take care of each other's hearts? I feel like this song is really taking care of my heart right now. So hopefully it gives you, it sends you a little love to your heart as well. There's something that I wanted to address in this song that has to do with our voice, and that is what to do when we reach a high note that's higher in our voices. This song doesn't have anything that's that high. Whoa! We're not singing opera. <laughs> um, but we do have a note in the song a few times that is a little bit higher than the rest of the notes in the song. Do you remember where that is in the song? It's repeated a couple times. I'll give you a hint. Shine, shine, shine. Let's see, let's work our way up to it. 
Oh, there we go. This part of the song is called the chorus. The chorus is repeated um, generally in a song. Usually a chorus is repeated several times. The music stays the same in the chorus. The words stay the same. So usually when you're learning a song for the first time, the chorus is the part that gets stuck in your head <laughs> because it repeats the most. So the chorus is this section right here. the right part on the piano. Let there be peace on earth. Let there be peace on earth. Lift your light and let it shine. Shine, shine, shine. There's that highest note in the whole song that we sing. Shine, shine, shine. So for me, that's not that high, but is it a short note or do we hold it a little bit longer? That's right. It's a longer note. So we've got an interesting, um, I think it's a challenge. It's a challenge in the song to have the longest note maybe be the highest note, right? So how do we approach that? Even if you have the experience like me, where it doesn't feel that high to you, we still need to make it strong, right? Not loud, but we need to make it sound strong. So what do we what do we do? Does anybody know? Think about that. You probably have a guess. What I think about, what I get ready to make that part really strong is I remember that I need a big singing breath to hold the note long, but also to hit that high note so it doesn't kind of get crackly, <laughs> right? So I can hold it long and strong. So what I need to do, what I do as I get ready for shine, 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 is I take a big breath before shine, shine, shine. So um, the line before that is, Lift your light and let it shine. Now we breathe. Shine, shine. I gotta play the right notes again. Shine, shine, shine. Did you hear me take that big breath? Let's try that together. Ready? From lift your light to three. Lift your light and let it shine. Breath. Shine, shine, shine. Well done. Wow. It's amazing how much a strong singing breath can really change the way our voice sounds, right? Um, as, as you maybe sing it again, how many times do we sing the chorus in this song? Remember that word, chorus? If you don't know that word, you can say it with me. Chorus. How many times do we sing the chorus in this song? Let's sing the chorus together one more time. Let's do the last chorus of the song, where that shine, shine, shine is a little bit slower and even longer. So the lyrics for the chorus are, fill the air with joyful noise. Two, three. Fill the air with joyful noise. Ring the bells and raise your voice. Let there be peace on earth. Let there be peace on earth. Lift your light and let it shine. Shine, shine, shine. Let every voice be. That's a pretty beautiful wish. And thanks for singing with me, Green Lake Dragons. I'll see you next time. I can't wait. Happy singing. <laughs>